Hillary Jane, are you trusting Christ alone for your salvation? Okay, so I'm not going to go like all in depth into the doctrines of baptism if you don't know what it is, but pretty much baptism is symbolism of how whenever Christ died, boom, in the grave, he rose in three days. And so whenever we are saved, we die with Christ and we are raised into new life with him. It's symbolism. It doesn't save you. It doesn't give you any special powers. It's just something that in scripture, people who became Christians, who believed in Jesus as their saving source and their only way to the Father and their only way to eternity would do, oh, pop my fingers, would do to proclaim to their church and procl blah, proclaim to the local believers that they were Christians. It's normally something that you do pretty soon after being saved. And the reason I'm just now getting baptized is a little tricky, but I wanna explain it to you guys. So I do believe in my heart, after really praying about it, really searching, even looking through old journals, because I've been journaling, hardcore journaling, like between 2008 and 2014, I journaled every day, all the time. Um, and so just even looking through my old journals, I came to the conclusion and something that I've really been wrestling with for many years is when did I actually get saved? And yeah, I can't pinpoint a day and I can't pinpoint a moment the way I used to think that I could, but I do know at least whenever I was dunked underwater, I wasn't saved. And I was dunked probably like over 10 years ago. And I definitely was not a genuine, converted, real Christian 10 years ago. Um, I probably have been a genuine Christian struggling through my sin, fighting my sin, loving Jesus, understanding the gospel for about five minimum to six maximum years. Um, but I've been going to church and I was raised in the church and it's all part of my testimony that I can give you guys in another video. I was raised in the church, thought I was a believer, just because most of the time when kids are raised in the church, especially in the South, because it's just like a social construct that everybody goes through, you just think you're a Christian. Um, and so I just thought that I was a Christian. I was dunked in the river, I was baptized, but I wasn't a real believer. And so I didn't really die with Christ. I didn't die to my sin and I wasn't really raised to new life with him. So how could that be symbolism of something that didn't happen? So to me, I just call those days dunked. I was dunked in the water. I came to the conclusion as I was becoming a member at a new church that me and Roman are coming to and they asked, have you been baptized? And I thought about it. I don't think that I have been baptized since I've genuinely been saved. And so that's when this happened. Are you trusting Christ alone for your salvation? Yeah. And I baptize you in obedience to our Lord's command and the likeness of his death. And it just so happened that I became a member of the church and I was baptized on the same day but it doesn't have to happen like that. Like Roman also became a member of the church yesterday but he had already been baptized legitimately, so he didn't have to redo it. Once you're baptized, it's a one-time thing, proclaiming to the local body believers, proclaiming to everybody who loves Christ around you, you know, I've died with Christ and now I live with Christ. And Roman had already done that when he was younger. He's one of those people that have genuinely been a believer for like, since he was six. My story is not like that at all. And I'm gonna give you guys my testimony. The reason why I haven't done it, um, even though Throughout the years, it's been in the comments section. We wanna hear a testimony, I wanna hear a testimony. I hadn't done it because I was still trying to figure out, you know, when was I even really saved? What's my conversion story? And I really, through prayer, reading my whole journals where I clearly could see that I like didn't know God. <laughs> um, I figured out my testimony. I did have to give it when I was being baptized, so I have it written down. And I do wanna share it with you guys, but that's gonna be in another video. So. If you are a believer, and I think that this happens a lot with people who grow up in the church, you kind of like wake up one day and you're reading your Bible and you're kind of confused like, wait a second, when was I really saved? Maybe I wasn't really saved when I was 10 years old. Maybe I was saved when I was 17 or, you know, you're trying to figure these things out. If you are unsure, 
It's better just to be baptized and to know that you did it as a genuine convert than to just rely on some kind of foggy memory. It's not going to do anything bad to you if it's like your second time being baptized and you thought but you really were and you go under again. It's not like nothing bad is going to happen. Only good will happen. You saying like me, God, I don't think I did it correctly the first time and my heart wasn't in the right place. I just want to be obedient to you and I'm just going to do it. And then you do it and God loves obedient hearts. And so if that's something you feel like you're going through, put it in the comment section. I'd love to talk to you guys. Everybody's story is different. And so yours may not look like mine and mine may not look like yours, but I just wanted to share with you guys my heart and I promise I'll be bringing you that testimony video soon since I have given it publicly and now I'm not so nervous about it. Um, but yeah, I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm definitely going to be vlogging the San Diego trip, so be on the lookout for that. Bye.